In regard to Putin, and adding to what I astrologically pronounced in a recent video as tough times ahead because of the problematic transits of Jupiter, Uranus, Pluto, and starting in about a year, Saturn as well, we have here a rather curious irony, even if admittedly the subject is disheartening and dismaying because it relates to the very dangerous situation Volodymyr Zelensky is currently traversing due to his principal bravery, but unfortunately putting his life at risk, something which his astrology also warns about. And the irony is that Zelensky's possible peril is due to a quincunx aspect, an astrological angle notorious for linking to health, injury and death, and which therefore must be treated with care and caution whenever it's in the present or upcoming cycles. But when we look at Putin's chart, only a quick glance reveals not only present-day quincunxes cyclically concurrent with the launching of this war in Ukraine, but worse still, that there are multiple quincunxes still to kick into gear during the months and even years ahead. The first problem with a quincunx is that while it may impel actions to correct or adjust the problem, for example, if one goes to a doctor or health practitioner to perform an adjustment, to organ, muscular, or orthopedic misalignments, really the action is more of a reaction, whereas what Putin is doing here is much more accurately a choice action, even if he would claim he is actually doing it as a reaction to all kinds of grievances in his own head. The point is, because the quincunxes are part of the equation, in my book, these actions have to be branded as unwise and misplaced. Notice that right now, as we speak, and concurrent with his ordering of the invasion, transiting Neptune is within range of making a quincunx to his Mercury, the mind planet, something which isn't exactly going to promote clear-minded thinking, and this is not going to let up until the spring of 2023, but along the way, it'll be transiting through a square to his natal Mars and in a station which is equally, if not more, a muddled, confused situation that is incompatible with making progress in the kind of scenario he has unleashed. Meanwhile, Jupiter, from here until May, is doing quincunxes to all his Libra planets, one after the other. And when it enters Aries in mid-May, where it travels until November, it isn't much good either because, at least by sign, it will be opposing his Libra stellium of planets. And transiting Uranus, moving a lot more slowly, of course, but heading straight to an exact quincunx to his sun, an aspect that really is already in effect because it had reached those degrees last year and now is going through one more time for good measure. Other quincunx action? When Saturn enters Pisces next year, it will then be poised to run through those Libra planets by quincunx during 23, 24 and parts of 25. Precisely the same thing that Uranus is doing from Taurus as well, meaning lots of quincunx action in the future. Well, aside from the obvious inauspiciousness of launching a war when so many quincunxes are in play, and we need only look at the worldwide intensely negative reaction he has received to realize that this is quite true, it's one thing to say that quincunxes are related to health and death, so certainly in one way you could reason, well, there you have it, he is inflicting death on others. Sure, but what about he himself? His Mercury the one getting the exact Neptune quincunx work over this whole year. And by the way, this aspect is building to exact and intense already in this month of March, is the ruler of his eighth sign, the sign of death, immediately attracting potentially lethal consequences for himself. And when it moves forward from those degrees and pounds on his Mars while doing a station, then it is hitting the ruler of his health house, which is no better. And since the natal Mercury is resident in the 12th, he is thereby linking the three most dangerous houses in any chart during these 2022 cycles. And when I say dangerous, I am referring to he himself and in potentially the most terminal way. How? Well, even if some plausible ideas cross my mind, I admit I don't really know. But still, the threatening astrology is unmistakable. He may be hunkered down in the Kremlin, sitting at the head of mile-long tables, apparently totally safe and sound, while Volodymyr is in the middle of a war zone. But with all this dangerous quincunx energy swirling around, he may not be nearly as safe as he believes.